welcome to the Stockboy Gaming Channel where today we're going to be putting up four awesome sports sedans against each other. And I can't think of a better way to test out this brand new Buffalo STX than to put it up against the Ocelot Jugular, the Lampadati Komoda, and the Albany VSTR. This is going to be a showdown and it's some of the best racing you'll ever see on my channel. These cars are very evenly matched. And as always, we're going to do it in true stock boy gaming fashion. We're going to do drag times first, but then we've also got average speed on a custom speedway and lap times on a technical custom circuit. First off, we got the two European cars, the Ocelot Jugular on the left, Lampadati Kubota on the right. The Jugular off the line is really quick. It's all wheel drive and you can see it just jumps out to an early start at the eighth mile. But once we get to that quarter mile, that gap doesn't get much bigger. The Lampadati Komoda is really fast too, and these two cars are some of my favorites. We're going to the half mile line. The Komoda can't quite catch up, but the gap doesn't get any bigger either. So the advantage there goes to the jugular, but it looks like it's just based off of what happened off the line. Now we're gonna take a look at the two American cars, the brand new Buffalo STX on the left, Albany V STR on the right. Now the Buffalo on the left is in the muscles class. How's it gonna do here at La Puerta Dragway? Ooh, the VSTR does get it at the eighth mile, which is a little bit disappointing, but don't forget this VSTR is really fast and we've known that for a while. So no major knocks on the Buffalo STX here, but it is gonna do everything it can to try to catch up by the time we hit this half mile marker. It's not gonna get there. The VSTR does pull ahead, so now we gotta see our two winners. It's gonna be Europe versus the USA on the right. Which one's faster here at the drag strip? It's gonna be a pretty decent battle, I have a feeling. And when we get off the line there, you can see again that jugular all-wheel drive comes in big, but the gap is very small. There's not much of a gap there between it and the VSCR. We saw the Komoda almost make a comeback on the jugular, so maybe after this quarter mile line, that VSCR could turn on the power and go. We know the VSCR is fast. We know the jugular is fast, but which one's the fastest on the way to the half mile? It's still gonna be the jugular, but that gap does not change. Those are two really, really fast cars here on the drag strip. And as we look at their rankings here, we can see the jugular comes out on top, the VSTR right beneath it, just slightly slower. The Komoda is actually pretty quick, and the Buffalo STX is a little bit slower, but they're all really close. They're, I mean, within about a half second of each other at the quarter mile. So. Not bad overall. These cars are very evenly matched. And now we're gonna head over to the Speedway. We wanna see how fast these things go. We saw the Komoda almost try to stage a comeback on the VSTR, so does that mean that this car is actually pretty fast here at Seaside Speedway? We're gonna test that out. We also wanna see how does this new muscle car stack up? It was a little disappointing at the drag strip. Yes, I don't do wheelies. It's a part of how I test. I can't do wheelies the way I test number one, but also when Rockstar introduces drag racing, which hopefully they will someday, I have a feeling it's gonna be similar and use the perfect start. So I wanna keep it consistent. The Jugular we know is really good car. I mean, this car, I'm not gonna spoil anything, but all four of these cars are basically supercar level when you look at some of the older supercars. So they're all really fast and the VSTR it's gonna to try to catch up on that speed score. Can it have a higher top speed than the jugular? It's certainly possible. We saw that it kept up with it at the drag strip, so it should be pretty similar power-wise, right? Well, as far as speed goes on my speedway, you see the jugular is insane at 141.1. It is one of the fastest cars there in the game, but the VSTR is not far off at 137. The STX is over 130, which is really solid. That new car is looking really good. And at 129.2, the Komoda comes in last. So the Jugular and Komoda kind of swap spots there, but the gloves are about to come off. Don't go anywhere. This is where it gets good. We're at CSA, or no, this is not CSA. Oh, man, I'm struggling. We are at my test track right now. Buffalo STX on the bottom, VSTR on the top, and this Buffalo STX handles really well. You can see they both get to that first gantry. It's pretty similar, but the Buffalo looks like it has an edge. So it's trying to climb up that list as far as speed score goes. As both of these cars go through that high speed corner there, you can start to see an advantage for this Buffalo STX. And I'll say it handles unbelievably well. It is a ton of fun to drive. The VSTR has more power, but that handling from the STX is making all the difference right now. So Going through these final two corners, that last chicane, 
you're gonna see how tight the STX can hold to the bottom of the track here. Going as fast as it is there, that's pretty impressive. And it's got a sizable gap over the VSTR. As far as these American cars go, there's no doubt that Buffalo STX is the fastest at my test track. But we're not done. We've got to test these two European cars and then the Challenger will face the Buffalo STX. As far as handling goes, the jugular is amazing. It's one of those cars that you can just throw into corners and it'll take pretty much anything you throw at it. Plus the all wheel drive means that it flies out of the corners, really good acceleration, which we saw in the drag test. And it does have the edge under that first gantry. The Komoda is one of my favorite kind of underrated cars in the game though. Like I've said, all these cars are basically supercar level in one way or another. And the Komoda you'll see here makes a comeback through that high speed cornering section. So at that second hairpin, they are tied. We're gonna see where this leads. I'm pretty excited about this race. We've got the jugular making a comeback. Now it's barely ahead. So we're going into another somewhat technical section and that kind of favors the Komoda. It's hard to drive fast, but you can drive it really fast. So you gotta just make sure that you don't go too much on the throttle and lose the back end, but they are so close neck and neck. And as they keep going down the front stretch here, we know the jugular has better acceleration, so it does win out. But that Komoda is underrated and it's a lot of fun. But now we've got the big matchup here at the test track. The two really fast sedans, jugular on the top and Buffalo STX on the bottom. It's so hard for me to pick a favorite of these two. You can see the jugular has a sizable lead early on, which is surprising to me. I did not expect that at all, but we're not done yet. And as we keep going through some of these slightly more technical sections, the handling on that Buffalo STX starts to come out and it starts to show you that it's pretty serious about this. Look at that, they are deadlocked once we get to that second hairpin. So now we got this long sweeping right in the straightaway. Typically this part of the track is gonna favor cars with more power. You do see the jugular pull ahead just slightly there, but when you have a car that handles really well like the Emirates or this Buffalo STX, like I said, it can stick really tight at really high speeds through that last corner. And now we have a lead for the Buffalo. Coming down to that front stretch, which car is gonna be able to do it? Can the Buffalo STX hold on to the lead? It does just barely, by about two tenths of a second, the Buffalo STX beats out the Ocelot jugular. So I don't know if you expected that. Like I said, I definitely did not but these are really fast cars and that'll bump the VSTR down to the bottom with lap speed. So it's getting kind of weird for the speed score. It's gonna be fun to see how this all pans out. Where are these cars gonna land? The speed score, if you're not familiar, is overall performance. It's a special equation I have that takes all this into account and gives you a score. The jugular is at 94, which is absolutely unbelievably high. The VSTR is up there at 92. The Buffalo SDX 91.65 is really, really, really good. And that's why it just dominates the muscle class now. Nothing else can come close to it. And it actually takes over that little spot from the Komoda. So four really good four-door cars, really fast. This new Buffalo SDX, I think has become a must own in GTA Online. It is that good. You consider how fast it is, how great it looks, and the fact that you can put all that new Imani tech on it this car might just be the best in the game now, in the entire game. You can carry all your friends with you, you can go fast getting there, and it looks really good. Rockstar, I've said it, I think a million times before, they love their Mopar cars, and it's very apparent in the way that they do these. It looks really good, it drives really good. The VSTR was great too. That's another one of those cars. I gotta say, between these four cars, it's really hard for me to pick a favorite. I think. You have to consider the Amani Tech for the Buffalo, but the Jugular may be my favorite car in the game. So when you put both of those up next to each other, it's really difficult to pick. But overall, these are four phenomenal cars. You can't really go wrong. They each have their strengths. They're all so good. And really to me, fun factor is the most important and each and every one of these cars has it. Thanks so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you think in the comments. And if you did like it, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Hope to see you next time.